What's up guys, this is uh, Aegosaurus coming to you live. Um, I'm going to show you out some of the basic tutorials of Linux command line to CLI. Um, if you notice something different about my desktop, I'm not using icons right now. I am using actually kind of a modded version of what the Apple OS looks like for Windows 7. So if you'd like me to go ahead and show you how I did that, go ahead and post in the comments. I'd be glad to make a tutorial. It wasn't that hard. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to install Linux on your Windows 7 computer. So you're going to need an emulating software. Uh, the free version of it out there is called VirtualBox. VirtualBox is made by Oracle and it's uh, pretty easy to use. Just go to their website here and uh, download it. You can pick which one you want. The second thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a copy of a Linux operating system. Now in this tutorial I will be using CentOS and uh, that's currently what my college is using right now. Another thing, these ads up at the top, uh, I'm not being redirected. I'm actually using a, uh, a proxy um, I'm not using my internet right now. I am borrowing um, an apartment building's internet for this video. So uh, if you see some ads pop up, don't think that uh, I'm being spammed or anything. I'm just simply protecting my information. Now you can see that we're on the CentOS download page. You can go ahead and click any of these. The thing you want to find in these directories is something that says dot iso which is going to be the entire operating system on a single file format so can't find any here uh, we'll just try to redo my search um, 5.6 download there it is Let's see what it's going to look like. Um, yep, you can just find any of these. You can just click any of these. Uh, you can do the HTTP or FTP, doesn't really matter as long as you get the ISO file. Now, I'm going to need to launch my virtualization software, which I'm using VMware, which is a paid product version. Same thing as VirtualBox, only it kind of looks a little bit different. And my Rocket Dock is gone. There it is. All right. So what this does is it actually allows you to launch a different operating system inside of your own operating system. And I'll pull up the file. I'm actually doing this for a lab test on Tuesday, but uh, I already know 90% of what's going to be on the test, so I figured I'd help out fellow IT men and uh, make this tutorial on the basic few of the basic Linux commands. There's my lab test. Just kinda gotta wait for the operating system to boot. One thing you will notice is that Windows boots faster than Linux does. Uh, I've noticed that on a couple of different operating systems. Uh, Ubuntu is pretty good about booting up. Uh, CentOS, uh, Blackboon 2, which is a new security operating system that was just released. Backtrack, 
those take a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this uh, PDF lab test on a uh, Dropbox site, and I'll link to it in the description. So you can go ahead and download that, and you can follow along at your own pace. Alright, we got that in my Dropbox. I'll just copy the link and I will throw that in the description for you. You can download that anytime. Now, Mine is going to look a little bit different than yours. Yours will boot into the GUI or graphical user interface. Mine is booting straight into CLI because I actually had a corrupt install on my GUI. So I will be doing everything from this black screen right here. A um, little bit harder. You really have to know what you're doing if you're going straight through GLI. But um, going through the GUI for you is just fine. All you have to do is go up to I think it's accessories and under one of the drop tabs should be terminal and it'll look exactly like this on a smaller scale on the pop up box. First thing we're going to need to do is make DIRA through C more and new under your home user test. Um, PWD first off shows us uh, right where we are in our directory listing so you can see that I'm under home nate the make dir test failed because I have already made this directory so I'm going to make dir dirb drc dr1 new but I know that I need to be under test Judging by the user's manual, I am going to go ahead and do a cd, change the directory, and as you can see, instead of the tilde, you can see the test is there. Now I want to make dir, uh, those are going to make those directories. Now the reason it didn't make above was because I had to take out the k. I didn't want to make those directories straight to my home folder. I wanted to make them under the directory of test. So you can see step two is you want to create, or you want to change, excuse me, <clears throat> the directories privileges to 722. Uh, if you need to know more about that, let me know. I will tell you all about um, file rights and directory rights. So we're going to do a cho mod 722 asterisk under test and that is the asterisk is means everything that's in the test directory. Now what I'm doing here with these touch commands is touch is creating a file under a directory. So if you touch dira slash file one, that is creating a file one under dira. So for step three, as you can see on the lab test, it tells us that we need to create those. Now, step four, oh, we can double check 
to see um, that those files were made by doing an ls dira and you can see that there's a file one listed there also if you are doing this from the GUI you can check this by double clicking on your home folder test and dira and there should be a file one there now step four you're going to edit text files from the terminal or command line vi is a built-in editing command into the Linux terminal so if you do vi the file name excuse me the file path you will get into that file now it says to put your pets name um, instead it, I'll just write some names down in here now by pressing escape you are being able to get to the save notice how I'm going from insert to nothing if you do a shift colon w q w is going to write it q is going to save it so again back to that um, insert being able to see the insert not being being able to see the insert when you press I when you go into Vi you are able to delete and edit words when you hit escape as I'm about to do here in a second you'll see that by pressing escape and then hitting shift colon you can type WQ to save the file um, not if you don't press escape you will actually corrupt that file or it will not save and quit so for this second uh, file we will just go hello YouTube escape shift colon WQ is going to write and save that file YDIRC slash file 3 we're opening up that and that actually looks good so we'll shift colon WQ save that file now we're going to change the rights on oh I actually just plugged the USB in sorry about that um, I'll just clear the screen and we'll clear it again we're going to change the file rights so we're going to need chmod one more time with the file rights 622 and then the path of the file that we would wish to change so we're going to do dira slash file one first and you can see that executed swimmingly so we'll do b file two and we'll do c file three and again this ch mod all it's doing is changing the rights of that directory or file so now it's asking us to copy those files to the dir more so we're going to cp copy and we'll have to do a um, path to the files we're copying so we'll need to execute this command three times one for dir a file one dir b file two and dir c file three Now we can do a PWD, or excuse me, an LS, which is going to show you all the contents in a directory to verify that those copies file, or that those files copied, well, excuse me. So we'll do an LS, DIR more, to verify that those files were copied correctly.
and you can see those files are there. We do a PWD to see where we are on the directory. We are under home, nade, test, dir more. Now step seven is going to move all of those files to the directory dir new. So we're going to do an mv asterisk, mv for move, asterisk for anything that's currently in the dir more directory. Then we're going to use the absolute path name. You can see that that executed perfectly. We're going to do an ls with that um, new path that we just copied or moved everything to. And you can see everything there copied successfully. And now we're going to change the writes of all those files to 333. So we're going to do a, another ch mod 333 an asterisk for anything that's currently in the dir new directory and that's all we're going to have time for so actually I'm going to go over the help switch that is currently in DOS for Windows has been kind of renamed to man for man pages or manual pages so if you do a man and then the command you need help with and you hit enter that will bring up the syntax help and or parameters you can use with that command and to exit out of this you can do a shift colon and Q and that brings you back to your uh, prompt so we'll do a man CD to find out what um, change directory does you can see it gives you some switches there kinda gives you some information on what each one does we'll do a man LS and here's the proper syntax some of the switches and parameters you can use with LS And it looks like that's all we're going to have time for today. Thanks, guys. Hope this was a little bit of help to you. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again.